Hello everyone, welcome to the iGoogle tutorial. iGoogle, a service of Google, is a personal web portal that was launched in May 2005. Formerly known as the Google Personalized Homepage, it was renamed iGoogle in April 2007 and is now available in over 70 countries in 42 languages. So why is this tool useful and why you should try it? Well, iGoogle is our preferred personal information management tool because it allows us to manage our online activities in a much more convenient way. iGoogle lets you create a personalized homepage that contains a Google search box at the top and your choice of any number of gadgets below. As we will illustrate later, iGoogle allows us to have multiple online activities on one web page. It allows us to add RSS feeds and many different and interesting Google gadgets. You can view your latest Gmail messages, read headlines from Google News and other top news sources. You can even check out weather forecasts, stock quotes and movie times. You can also develop your own gadgets for any need. As we get increasingly reliant on the internet for work and school, iGoogle is the perfect tool for managing our information online. Now you may be wondering how we can get started with this amazing tool. With an internet access and a Gmail account, anybody can have their own iGoogle page. This is great because it is free and we don't have to spend time downloading anything. All you need to do is to enter the web page address, google.com slash isg, into your internet browser, in our case it's Mozilla Firefox, and there you're in. Now that we know about more about iGoogle, let us have a closer look at what it can offer. Let us start with the most basic essential of iGoogle, which is the actual setting up of an iGoogle page. For a start, find the Get Started link here. Now you see in this page that you can select what your interests are and also select the theme. You also see that there is the option to select the country or the region that you are in. iGoogle will customize your page according to your selections on this page. Let us select the news, entertainment, and social tab, keeping the default template and leaving our region marked as Singapore. Once you have done that, click see your page. Now you notice that your iGoogle page is made up of multiple windows which is known as gadgets. Now because I've checked the entertainment and news box earlier, we can see entertainment and news gadgets like those of tvguide.com and BBC News. There are a few changes you can make to your gadgets allowing you to customize how your page will look like. You can choose to minimize your gadget by clicking on the drop down box at the top right hand corner of the gadget. or maximize the gadget by clicking the icon beside so that it becomes the only gadget on your iGoogle page. We can also edit other basic settings on iGoogle by clicking on the settings option at the top right hand corner of the screen and selecting iGoogle settings. Here you can add a new tab Change the name of your web page, delete gadgets from your page, and also change the layout of the page. For example, if we were to change the layout from a three column layout to a two column layout and return to our page. Now you'll notice that our all of our gadgets have been rearranged into two larger columns. Let us now move on to other functions of iGoogle. For users with a Google account, it is recommended that you sign in so that any changes that you make to your iGoogle page can be saved. First, you click on the sign in button at the top right corner of the page and you enter your Google account.
quick sign in. You can customize the information on your iGoogle homepage by adding gadgets to it. To start, click on the Add Stuff link on the top right hand corner of, the, of your iGoogle. There are several different kinds of gadgets you can add to your iGoogle homepage. Different types of gadgets such as news feeds, stock market tools, online magazines and even games are available for you to select and place on your homepage. On the main page, you will see a list of the hottest gadgets that iGoogle users are using. You can also view the gadgets by categories such as news, tools, games, and so on. Now let's try to add a news gadget, Channel News Asia front page news onto our iGoogle. First, click on news under categories. As you can see, Channel News Asia is the first gadget available. Just click on the Edit Now button and it will be automatically added to your home page. Now click on the Back to iGoogle homepage on the top left hand corner and you will be directed back to your home page. You will now see that Channel News Asia front page news is at the top left most box on your home page. You can then move the box around simply by clicking and holding the light blue bar and dragging it to your desired spot. To add related gadgets, click on the top drop down arrow at the top right hand corner of the box. Click on the option you might also like. You will be redirected to a list of recommended gadgets for you to add to your home page. To add these gadgets, simply click on the Add This Now button. If you no longer wish to use the gadget, click on the same drop down arrow on the top right hand corner of the gadget box. Click on Delete this gadget, and a pop up box will appear asking you to confirm the deletion. Click OK, and the gadget will disappear from your home page. If you wish to add the gadget back. Simply follow the steps to add a new gadget. Just like Gmail, iGoogle allows you to personalize the theme of your iGoogle page. Simply go to the right side of the screen just below the iGoogle search bar and select change theme from classic, which is your default theme. As you can see here, a theme selection will appear below the iGoogle header. Some of these themes were created by Google, but a large portion of them were created by other users. You can sort these themes by hottest, most users, and newest, depending on your preferences. To illustrate how we change the theme, let us select this gourmet theme of the day. Now I'll click on Edit Now. Now you can see here that you have successfully changed your iGoogle header to this yummy theme. If you are not satisfied with this theme, you can go back to your previous theme simply by clicking undo. You can browse through the different themes page by page by clicking on the next button here. You can also search for themes by using this search bar. So for example, my friend recommends to me this theme called Earthlight. And I can add it now to my list. What is interesting about this theme is that the lighted zone moves along the course of the day to show which parts of the earth is currently lighted as you are using this computer. So for example, in Singapore right now, it is day. While in Brazil, it is still dark, but getting lighter as time passes.